I got my package today from AliExpress. Simple packaging, three items. And there they are. Let's start with this one. Starting with the set, here we have Kogo Army Action. Set number 3312, and this tank looks hideous. Matter of fact, I think this tank is the most hideous official brick built tank so far. And here are the bags four bags, your two rubber threads. Let's open them. set finished up now first off let's take a look at the picture here you have three soldiers no helmets but mine included helmets and the facial expressions are the same with these two except that one has a different facial expression right here so let's start with the minifigs the two soldiers the left and the middle one are identical except for the helmet which have a different shade of each color and this one here that's what I was talking about. Uh, this guy comes with body armor, her vest, but on the picture, he has printing on the torso and different head. Whereas here, it's totally different. Also, too, if you notice, the face has shaping compared to these two. They are flat, but this one here is actually like the old Kobe minifigs, if you can look at it. So those are your minifigs, let's look at the tank. And by the way, here are the extra pieces, forgot to mention, and sticker sheet which doesn't show to be used anywhere, so I guess it just came bonus. But here's the tank, the hideous one. Can this be the most hideous tank yet? We'll see. But first let's check out the details. And here's a 360 view of this hideous ugly thing. Starting with the turret, you have a antenna here, uh, this one here, I don't know what that is, probably a rocket launcher or something, and you have another weapon here, not sure what that is, I know this one's the cannon, which can go up and down, and you have whatever that is there, and on the top view, you have this piece, and you could probably sit your one of your uh, minifigs on there probably here too but this thing it'll get in the way of this thing which does turn slightly and go up and down on the back you have an exhaust pipe here not sure what these things are they look kind of out of place to me you have your radiator grill here the engine that's what I believe it is and some side skirts which can go up and down even the front too can kind of lift up but kind of pointless and the threads do move but I want to be careful because they feel like they're gonna break so again I'm just gonna not move it so much so let's take a look at the functions so to access the interior you have to take this apart and this whole thing comes out there's your interior, and this does open up, but it's kind of uh, tricky to open. There you go, kind of loose. And let's just take this off just to see the interior. So there's your interior, there's no controls, nothing. You could sit your mini figs, and this thing spins around. I don't know what that's supposed to be. That's it for the interior, nothing special. Let's put on the tops back. And just for fun, a comparison shot with my other ugly hideous tank. Not sure which one is more ugly. 
you decide which one is. I did a review on this one, and I do think this Kogo tank is the new king of hideous looking. So anyways, let's conclude my review. I'm not sure what the designers were thinking when they were building this tank and designing it, but yes, it is hideous. I can't think of a tank this is based off of. It's just from some ugly imagination. The build itself was actually uh, pretty stable. Lots of uh, pieces interlocking with one another. And while building it, um, the instructions kept me guessing. There was nothing that was too repetitive. It was actually very interesting building this. As far as the pieces go, I've done lots of Kogo and Kogo to me is a very high-end version of Best Lock pretty much. Pieces uh, go together pretty decently and there are a few problems here and there. Nothing too major but overall the pieces come together neatly. And this tank for me costs 20 bucks which is I think kind of high. I think 15 would be good or even 12 or 10 would be perfect but this is where I got it. It was from AliExpress and I've seen this for sale there for 40 which is way too much. Don't spend 40 bucks for this thing. Spend 20 or less. It's not worth 40 so this is an okay tank. If you're going to go for Kogo, go for different tanks because this one is just hideous. This is Breakhead Boy. Thanks for watching.